All right, so Game Director Christopher Barrett. Hey, everyone. At the end of the last year, I made a promise I would update you on our plans for Destiny 2. The team has been hard at work and we're ready to share what we are, where we are headed. We used the wait to talk about the game updates until we were certain we could meet our deadlines to avoid letting players down if we changed our plans. No longer. We're not just listening, we are doing. Please keep in mind that the further out we make our promises, the more they are subject to change. Uh, with that caveat, here are our plans. Destiny content categories. One thing we want to set clear expectations for is which categories of content are available to everyone each season and which are exclusive to Destiny 2 expansions. Expansions are pur purchasable updates that typically add new story, destinations, and gear, as well as new Crucible, Strike, and Raid layer content. Seasons include content that is made available to all players of D2 at no additional cost. So they have this graphic here to kind of represent that. And... I've got Eververse here as just, what did that say? Okay. Iron Banner faction rallies and their rewards will be available to everyone as part of Season 2. Additionally, going forward, we are making a change that new seasonal rewards from Crucible, Strikes, and Trials of the Nine will be available to all players. Faction rallies returns on January 16th and Iron Banner will be back in the rotation on January 30th. Eververse. We recognize the scales are tipped too far towards tests at the moment, and Eververse was never intended to be a substitute for end game content rewards or content and rewards. So we'll be making three changes for upcoming seasons. We're shifting the balance of new content in favor of activity rewards over bright engrams. This includes adding ghosts, sparrows, and ships to date found only in bright engrams to achievement and reward pools. So I'm guessing that's going to be for milestones. Hold up. They're shifting it in favor of activity rewards over bright engrams. So, yeah, I'm guessing it's going to be in the loot pool. We'll provide a, a gameplay path to earn bright engrams and all contained rewards, including event engrams. We'll give players more direct purchase options and make adjustments to bright engrams to allow players to get the new items or the items they want so often or more often. That's good. They'll give us direct pur purchase options. Now I don't have to, like, buy silver to maybe get bright dust. Uh, we've begun implementing these changes for the Crimson Days beginning or event beginning February 13th with even more changes on the way in Season 3. Completing Nightfall, Raid, and Crimson Days milestones during Crimson Days will reward you an exclusive Legendary Emote, Weapon Skin, and Exotic Sparrow, respectively. Players will earn double engrams at level up, one Crimson Engram, and one Illuminated Engram for the duration of the event, which is definitely a much better way to go about it. Crimson Engrams can also drop from completing the Crimson Days match and from completing the Crimson Days milestone on each character. Each Crimson Engram is very strongly weighted to new rewards when decrypted until all new event items have been obtained, which is much better. I like that I can't just easily get Season 2 or Season 3 stuff. XP rates. We are still investigating changes to XP earn rates. Our goal with any updates to XP are transparency and consistent XP gain. Regardless of your preferred activity, right now it is too slow in general and lopsided towards grinding specific activities, which is not a fun grind. And we want to fix that without making those activities low value to players who aren't grinding them. Fairness is cool. Our first attempt turned out to be unworkingly buggy, so we're having to investigate other angles. We will continue to update you as we move forward. Feature Roadmap. There are three releases that we want to put on your radar right now. Later releases will get more specific dates as they get closer. The following content and features will be available to all D2 players regardless of expansion ownership. So January 30th, you can all get Masterwork Armor. We knew that was going to come. We knew it. They're expanding the Masterwork system to include armor, obviously. Armor provides increased damage reduction while using your super, which is definitely important. Ugh. You can reroll the armor stat type on Masterwork Armor, and similar to Masterwork Weapons, you can upgrade a piece of armor to Masterwork by spending Masterwork Cores and Legendary Shards. So the example to give here is uh, the mask here. It's going to have the same uh, gold trim thing here and around the icon. And you're looking at it being... I guess they didn't say what the bonus thing is going to look like, but I'm obviously going to say it's either going to be... Uh, recovery or whatever the other ones are so it could be like recovery could be resilience or it could be mobility i'm thinking raid reward rework we are updating raid rewards to make them more unique and interesting they will now feature mods with raid specific perks and we are adjusting the rewards to ensure a raid item drops from each major encounter that's much better 
The raid vendor will also directly sell Leviathan and Eater of Worlds armor and weapons for purchase with raid tokens and legendary shards. Also good. We are also adding a new ghost with raid specific perks that has a chance to drop from the Leviathan and Eater of Worlds encounters, or final encounters. We intend to return to creating more raid and other activity unique rewards in the future. That's definitely a welcome change. Let's see, February update. Strike scoring. Strike scoring. Yes! Strike scoring at high score tracking. Finally. Strike scoring is coming to Nightfall and replacing the current time limit mechanic that is so much fucking better. So, that, wait, does that mean the note, there's no time limit mechanic? Yes. The scoring is similar to D1 system, but with adjustments to emphasize competitive execution of strike objectives and support for player selectable score modifiers. Player selectable score modifiers? So, like, we vote on a modifier. Okay. In February, Nightfall high scores will be exposed in-game via new emblems and will unlock rewards. We also have plans for clan and community high scores in the works. Yes! Thank you! Finally! Mods 2.0. Work is underway for a full rework of armor and weapon mods. This will focus on reducing redundant mods, more unique theming, and greatly re increasing their impact on your power. We are aiming for a February release, but the scope of the rework could push parts of it, or all of it, out to early spring. We will be evaluating how mods play into the Bright Engram economy as, as a result because we're sensitive to pay-to-win outcomes. Okay. Quick play improvements. Here we go. We are adjusting game mode rules to increase the pace of gameplay and power ammo acquisition and gameplay. PC tower chat. Finally. We're adding text chat into the tower for the PC version of the game. But it's only for the PC, which kind of sucks. But at the same time, I don't like having to scroll through all the letters in text chat anyway. So I guess that makes sense. Uh, exotic repetition reduction. This will prevent players from receiving the same exotic twice in a row. Very good. You may still receive duplicates, just not as consecutively. So, okay. That's better. Fire team members on destination map. You will finally be able to see the other members of your fire team on the destination map. No more having to ask your fire team where they went when they fast travel to another landing zone. Convenient. That's definitely a convenience thing, which I like. Spring 2018. We're taking the time we need to in development as expansion two that will allow us to react to player feedback from curse of Osiris in the coming months. We'll talk to you more about what you can expect to find in destiny two's next story. The team is eager to show you what they've been working on independent of expansion two, the team will deliver a number of new features that will be released before or during season three. Every player of D two will receive new content in the following categories. For Crucible, we want to give players new reasons to play, more variety, and balance improvements. Spring will bring a number of exciting and long-awaited features to the Crucible. Crucible Rank. Beginning with Season 3, we will introduce seasonal, cru yeah, seasonal Crucible Ranks. There will be two different ranks for players to pursue. One is Valor, one is Glory. So Valor is a progression rank that goes up as you complete matches. Winning helps you move up faster, but there are no lost penalties. Glory is a progression rank that goes up when you win and down when you lose. So that's your ranking system for skill ranking. Nice. Finally, ranking systems. Performance is how you move up here. So you have two of them. You at least have one that's not going to be like, you know, going to go down if you suck, basically. But it actually, it could even show if you suck even worse because you'll see a higher Valor score for more completions. So if they have a very high Valor score and a low Glory score, that's probably going to look even worse. But at least they have something in game. I'm glad they had that. Even though I'm probably not going to get a very high glory score, I'm glad that it's actually there. It gives me a reason to want to do Crucible outside of the milestones. Oh, and there's a emblem that's probably going to be showing that off too. Nice. Nice. Private matches. Private matches are coming to all players of D2. Players will be able to invite their friends to play on the map and mode of their choosing. And it looks like it's pretty similar to D1's uh, selection screen. 6v6 is coming back. There we go. In addition to the current 4v4 game mode. So we're gonna, they're going to add it and not take it away. Mayhem event. Mayhem will return as a limited time event during Season 3 and going forward. Finally. Also good. Additional fixes. We are making some changes to make quitting less common and behind-the-scenes security improvements to help over, improve overall Crucible experience. Additional highlights. Weapon and ability balance pass. Sandbox adjustments based up based on player feedback and data from the live game. The sandbox team will share specific changes as we lead up to season three. Exotic weapon and armor balance pass. 
Exotic weapons and armor are receiving a comprehensive design pass to ensure they stand out from the rest of the gear and offer new, exciting, powerful ways to play. We were just saying that in the chat not like one hour ago. Uh, seasonal reputation. Specific vendors will now display a seasonal ranking. Right. Earning reputation will unlock unique seasonal rewards and will reset each season. So kind of like Iron Banner. But I think that's in addition to the current amount, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. They didn't really explain that too much, but I think it's going to be a much better uh, meaning behind the vendors. Improved Iron Banner and Faction Rallies. In addition to the changes that you will see when Iron Banner and Faction Rallies return this month, we will continue uh, iterating on the on these to make them unique, exciting experiences that you all look forward to. So, not really anything specific there, but they're doing something with it, which is definitely an improvement. Uh, let's see. Playlist reduction. Repetition reduction. Oh, finally. I'm glad they're addressing this. This feature solves the problem of experiencing the same playlist entry multiple times in consecutive or frequent succession in both Crucible and Strikes. Thank you, Bungie. I've been wanting that since day one because Supremacy has gotten a little exhausting. Just going to say that. Endgame player pursuits. We agree that with your feedback on the imbalance between achievement and bright endgram rewards, and we'll be making adjustments to shift more rewards into specific endgame pursuits instead of generic XP grinding for bright engrams. We are excited to share the details as soon as we have them worked out. So basically, they're, they're going to address that in a future update then. Multi-emote. When multi-emote launches, you'll be able to choose which emote you have equipped to each of your four emote slots. So I'm guessing that's going to be your D-pad. Vault space. We are targeting an additional 50 slots to player vaults. Okay. We don't believe just adding more space is a complete solution and are actively, actively, actively working on other changes to reduce load on the vault space. So like kiosks, probably. Oh, here we go. We are adding exotic accessory tab to vault collections so you no longer need to spend vault space on exotic ships, sparrows, and ghosts. There we go. Uh, PC clan chat. In addition to tower chat that is targeted for February, we are adding a clan chat to the PC version of the game. Um, I kind of wish they had it on console. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. Heroic Strike changes will be introducing modifiers to add more gameplay variety to the experience. Okay, that's good. So um, I don't know if it's going to be just like D1 or maybe better or different. I don't know. Uh, so they're going to do modifiers. I'm hoping it's going to be like Nightfall. So that's going to be pretty good. Fall 2018 or sooner, we're working on a lot more that we're not quite ready to discuss. Expect more on the simple on the small sample of items in the future. Item collections and records. That's what they were talking about on Twitter. Weapon slot and archetype improvements. Thank you. So hopefully more variety. Hopefully a lot more uh, usable different archetypes, which I'm hoping is what they mean by that. Additional Crucible playlists, e.g. Rumble. They're bringing Rumble back, guys. We're getting Rumble back, and it's not just for an event. I'm glad to hear that, too. Oh, wow. Better clan rewards. Masterwork exotic. Hold up. Masterwork exotics, guys. Masterwork exotics. That's going to be pretty good. I mean, it might not be game-breaking, but it's going to be pretty good. Pinnacle weapon and gear improvements. Trials of the Nine improvements. Shaders and dismantling, which I'm assuming means mass dismantling of shaders. Uh, future of guided games. I'm not sure what they're going to go with on there. Um, address solo versus fire team matchmaking. Okay, good. Yes. I like that they're addressing that because for this one right here, that's going to change the experience of Crucible dramatically. One final note, expect to hear more from us via Bungie.net, Twitch, and social media. We'll be, take, we'll be talking to you more directly and more often, <laughs> as in being in my chat. We want to thank our community for all, passionate, all the passionate and detailed feedback you provide. It's critical to our ability to continually improve Destiny, so thank you. Talk to you soon. Christopher Barrett, his Twitter handle is at CG Barrett. So if you want to tweet at him, you can tweet at him now if you want to.